we ventured out of the studio to go see some morning blend friends. Of course, we are with Academic Alliance in Dermatology, their town and country location, and I'm making a new friend today, Dr. McMeekin. Welcome to the show, Doc. How are you? Thank you. I'm really good. Thank you. So I'm excited to talk with you, although I see the topic we're talking about, wrinkles, wrinkles, wrinkles. I don't know if they're trying to tell me something, if that's why I got booked here. Well, what is going on? Well, I don't see very many wrinkles on you. So wrinkles really can be caused by uh, expressive facial features, like when your mother said don't frown, you'd get wrinkles. Mm -hmm. The little truth in that. But the majority of the ones we see are ultraviolet damage. Well, I think you're just trying to win brownie points right there by saying you don't see any on me because every time we look in the mirror, you're with me at home when you do look in the mirror and you're doing a little bit of this. And, and as we age, we do get those lines. Maybe they're from expression, as you touched on. What are some other reasons that people start to notice the lines as we get older? Well, uh, the sun, uh, the ultraviolet, not only may damage the collagen and the elastic tissue, but you can get pigmentation called dispigmentation. You can get uh, uh, liver spots. And so it's a whole gamut of sun damage that people recognize. And in our culture, they're associated with aging. And aging, everyone wants to look young. I know. I, I know you see it, and you guys are definitely the pros at, at keeping us look younger like we want to do. So let's talk about procedures now. What can people do? Let's go back to the wrinkles. You talked about some expression lines, mm -hmm. which, of course, I think right in between the eyebrows there. What are some things that people can do these days? Well, the ultraviolet primarily causes fine lines, and the fine lines that you see either in the glabella or around the eyes can be treated with cosmetics. So you can buy a simple product like a retinol or a, a retinoid. You can use simple things like microdermabrasion or laser abrasion or chemical peels, and they vary from simple things like glycolic acid peels to more aggressive trichlorcetic acid peels, and we do all of these in this uh, facility. I was going to ask if you can kind of help people, and when they come in here and meet, you can designate which one's right for them, right? Exactly right. So the deeper lines that are more typical cause from muscle expressions, they often require deeper treatments. And uh, we have four different devices, uh, several of which are lasers and several of which are just broadband light that treat wrinkles. And the nice thing is there's some non-ablative ones, which means you don't cut the skin, you don't, no downtime, and they treat and they cause collagen contraction. And so we have a variety of things that you can tailor to the patient's needs. I thought you were going to actually go the route talking about like fillers. So I'm very intrigued to learn about lasers because I think maybe you're with me at home. You always think of like the Botox and the Juvederm and stuff. You're saying lasers might be the answer. Well, every patient is different. Mm -hmm. And for some, they want an easy, quick fix. And Botox blocks the nerve endings. And it's a wonderful treatment, but it only lasts four to six months. Mm -hmm. Fillers are also, you could have it on Friday and Monday go out and no one knows you've had a filler. And they last six to eight months and some up to a year. So for the individual patient that wants a quick fix, the fillers and Botox still have a role. But again, those long-term effects, that's where you talk about the laser treatments, correct? Yes. With a laser, the new collagen synthesis you produce when you wound or, or damage or irritate the dermis, that lasts with you. And you can look five, six. I've had patients with resurfacing that 10 years later, you still see a big difference. You and I were chatting before we got started, and you referred to yourself as the, the laser specialist around here. Why is experience so key when it comes to any of these procedures? Well, most providers go to a weekend course and learn how to use a device. Hmm. Uh, in my experience, I trained at Harvard, and there the lasers were just being developed. And not only did we learn how to use the lasers, but we did studies and uh, published the studies and began teaching how to use the lasers. And over time, you learn the tricks that don't always show up in courses. So experience makes a big difference. I like hearing that. And again, it's been such a pleasure to meet you. I said at the beginning, but of course, we are with our friends at Academic Alliance and Dermatology. They've got locations all over the Bay Area. For more information, if you want to take care of some of those wrinkles, go ahead and visit our website for more, tvmorningblend.com. Hopefully, I get to chat with you again. Thanks for your time today. You're most welcome.